Hey guys! So, just took a nap, looking an absolute mess from the face to the messy hair. So, I thought, why not make a video about skincare? You guys have been asking a lot lately for my skincare routine. And so, I thought, okay, what, what better time than sunset and just looking a hot mess. So, here we go. Okay, so I thought I'd start off with my morning skincare routine. This this has been the same for a very long time. I mean, a very long time, probably like two years now. Um, I always, always, always use Cetaf Cetaphil, the Gentle Skin Cleanser one. I remember using this when I was a kid, like lower teens when you finally start washing your face actually and I remember my you know my mom went and bought this and I had fabulous skin back then and this was all I knew and then I switched to a lot more harsh skincare cleansers and my skin got really dry and um, I got acne on my forehead and on my cheeks and I was really really wondering why this was happening. Over time I realized that a lot of people with skin issues, those issues are formed because you're using products that are way too harsh for your skin. I have, I have sensitive skin so why was I using proactive to the Neutrogena system and blah 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 all these things to try to get rid of my acne which were actually making them worse so probably two and a half whatever three years ago I don't know how long I've been using this I went back to just in the mornings Sudafil this gentle skin cleanser and my skin completely cleared up started using much more gentle stuff and it's great it's inexpensive it's not $48 this is like $16 which is still a little expensive but it's the best! So I use this every morning and every other day at night. I switch off with exfoliator. And that's up next. Ooh, the Origins. Modern Friction. Nature's Gentle Dermabrasion. This is a very, very gentle exfoliator. Like I said, I use it every other night because it's that gentle that my skin can handle it. And I'll read the I'll read the back. Uh, it's skin refining rice transforms your skin from rough to smooth, old to young, without the ouch or redness of clinical microdermabrasion. Screwed that one up. But all in all, it has rice in it that is that roughness to it for the exfoliant. But the rice is not too harsh at all. It's really gentle for your skin. Put it on then you splash a little bit of water to foam it up. It's awesome. I've been using this now for probably a year and again my skin's never looked better so thumbs up for me. After I'm done uh, cleansing my skin in the morning I always follow well I used to always follow by using uh, Peter Thomas Thomas Roth. Peter Thomas Roth's Camu Camu. This is a uh, vitamin C brightening serum. I've been using this for a year, but actually two weeks ago I ran out of uh, this one. This is completely empty. And I haven't restocked on it yet uh, because I got a little tryout box from Sephora. I'll do, I'll show you in a second. This is wonderful. I still highly, highly recommend this. It really does brighten your skin. Um, I just love the feel of it. It's, it doesn't make your skin tingly or anything. Again, it's not harsh. Everything I use is really gentle for sensitive skin. Um, I just, I really, I really like this. I got used to it in my routine and I mean, I'll probably buy it again soon, but for now, I started using this. This is part of the, the little try. It's so small. Um, it's the Seaberry Moisturizing Face Oil uh, from Fresh. And I was so, I, I'm, I was very curious about it. 
Um, so I started using it two weeks ago. It still has a lot in here for this little, little tiny bottle. I've been using it for two weeks in the morning. And I just, as a little squeezer, I just use one pump, put it in your hand, rub it around in your hands, and then I pat it on my skin before putting on my um, eye cream and moisturizer. And it, it really hydrates your skin, like, to, to the extreme. And I absolutely love it. I love the way it feels. I love the smell of it. And, um, I don't know. This might be... It says to use it day and night. I've only been using it in the mornings. But this might be replacing my Camu Camu soon. Like, well, it has been, but, like, permanently. I really love it. I've never used face oils before. I don't know why. Um, and I actually just read today, and I've had this, and I didn't even know, another fantastic face oil is the Tarte Pure Moroccan Oil. I have a whole thing of this that I've never used because I've always been like, what is it for, your hair? I don't, I, I've just, you know, been ignorant to it. So now I have, like, these two really good oils for your face, and I can't wait to keep using them. This one has Omegas 3, 6, 7, and 9 which I just read, I didn't really know that, but I mean, thumbs up for me. If you like skin oils before you put on your moisturizer, this is amazing. Amazing. So, morning, cleanse, put on the face oil. Then I move on to eye cream. This is another one from Origins. Really like Origins. This is their Plant Scription Anti-Aging Eye Cream. I uh, got this about two months ago, a uh, switched eye creams and I like this one a lot better than the old one I was using um nothing you know cra it's not like I put it on and see my eyes going up and it's just really anti-aging it's just really soothing and um it does have a little bit in my opinion it has a cooling effect and I really really like that in the morning kind of awakens your eyes um so all in all keep it short. This is a really good eye cream that I use. And then final step in the morning, I've been using this moisturizer, I don't know, for going on four years, like straight. I have not bought any other. The Olay Complete Moisturizer, um, all day moisturizer with sunscreen, broad spectrum SPF 15. And this is again for sensitive skin. It's a it's a great moisturizer. I don't know what else to say. I don't think you need to go out and buy the $60 to $100 face moisturizers when this is at Walgreens and it works just as good as all the other ones. So, sticking with this one. Sticking with Olay. Okay, so that's my morning routine. Basically what I do from cleansing to the face oil to eye cream and moisturizer. Now at night, um, I'll start off with how I take off my makeup. This has been my favorite. Use this for a good couple years. I'm, I'm, if I like a product, I stick to it. I don't really flop around. If it works, I'm keeping it. And this one has worked for me. Bosha. Some of you might call it Boskia. I don't, I don't know. But it's the Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. This stuff is fantastic. This stuff is fantastic. Um, I, I, I probably use a little bit too much, but I use like three to four pumps of it. And then you massage it. You know, you just, uh, you don't wet your face or anything. This is your face was clean. You're about to take off your makeup. Put this in your hand. Rub it all over your face. The oil seriously just takes away the makeup. Um, even, you know, all your eyeshadows, eyeliner, mascara will be pretty much gone if my mascara is still there after I've splashed my face to get every, everything else is gone, but, you know, sometimes you get the raccoon eyes because some of the mascara stayed. Um, I just use the Almay. Uh, this is the long wear and waterproof little eye pads. You know, little pads. Just get, get all the stuff from the eyes mascara that I didn't get, but
but that Bosha oil really does take everything off and it feels nice and then you finish off with just a little cleanser it's beautiful I love it if you guys don't want to pay you know 38 to 48 dollars I, I forgot how much this is for the makeup breakup cool cleansing oil a really cheap it's not cheap but a simpler solution um, for taking off your makeup without having a wipe is using a Cetaphil moisturizing cream you know just cream you can see like I, I scooped it and you use it exactly like the Bosha you rub it all over your face it takes off the makeup eye makeup and then you finish with some makeup wipes to get everything else off it's cheaper um, awesome for sensitive skin it actually moisturizes your skin while doing it um, just a little tidbit if you don't want to pay that much at night after I take off my makeup again I use one of these switch off every other day and after that this is just me personally I know a lot of gurus have like five other things they do at night to like moisturize their skin or serums or whatever I don't at night when I take off my makeup that's it I'm, I'm I let my skin breathe for the night I don't put anything else on oil whatever and I know a lot of people might say well it, it would be really really beneficial if you you know if you did use the oil at night me being me I just want my skin to be left alone so once I'm done um, completely taking off my makeup and cleansing my skin that's it done there, that's boring for my night routine but there it is um, but then I just thought two two things I use once a week I switch off using these um, are masks so I think masks are amazing for your skin again I said I only use mine once a week some people do it twice a week it all depends on what you want one is the Bosha luminizing black mask this is awesome you put this on your skin and it completely dries and then this one's a peel off so it's a little um, you know it hurts a bit when you're peeling it off but it really it makes your skin uh, luminous and I just feel so fresh after and you're just like I went through the pain to get this skin it's awesome really enjoy this the other one is origins uh, clear improvement this is an active charcoal mask to clear the pores this one is not a peel off you just leave it on for allow to dry and then you rinse well and um, that's that's all for that one I mean but it's another really good mask I really highly recommend both of these masks again they're both made also for gentle skin so gentle skin people you can use these without worrying so guys that's my basic basic skin routine I know it's not um, all that fancy or anything but that's what I use to get a uh, really nice clear skin and again if if you are dealing with any sort of skin problem look at your skin routine and see if you're using either way too many things or or products that have really harsh ingredients in them maybe you're just being too harsh on your skin and you need to use some more gentle stuff or let your skin breathe let your skin breathe but thank you for tuning in I'll have tutorials coming up soon I have to because I'm going to Hawaii really soon so I gotta get those in um, but thank you for joining it in tuning in guys um, sleeping puppy is always in the background and I hope you guys have a beautiful night peace and love